friends, I'm back with another super cool astrology video, and I wanted to talk about the natal conjunction of Mercury and Mars, what happens when we have this very brilliant aspect in a birth chart. So, communication and speed and ego are all blended when we have this particular pairing. Um, their minds can be very obsessive about getting to the bottom of things because Mars is things that are quick, things that are instinctual, um, winning, and uh, the identity and the ego. And Mercury is the mind. Mercury is our communication skills. It is our style of communication. It is our style of thinking. It describes our thought pattern and uh, how obtrusive or not obtrusive that is, or how clear or not clear that is. And so, it, typically when we have, you know, the warrior planet, Mars, linked with the planet of speaking and thinking, Mercury, we're going to see somebody that needs to um, exhaust, win, or get to the bottom of a topic before they can let it go. They are uh, very much into proving their thoughts through communication, proving things when it comes to all things Mercury. Do not get into an argument with these people. Do not get into a texting war. It, it could go on for days. They really come to life when they are spurred into action by some kind of um, communication uh, confrontation. And so um, they just don't let a lot go when it comes to words and when it comes to ideas that people may have and opinions that other people may have and when they have. And they will destroy you in an argument, generally. All aspects from Mars to Mercury or from Mars to Pluto really land a certain uh, viciousness when it comes to communication. And this one, they don't really see a lot of reasons to let up. Um, so it's one where they can really stir up some trouble in their immediate environment, especially with friends and people that, that they may know uh, more, more well than other people. That's typically who they uh, really impact with the force of their words and their ideas and can really try to get those people to come over to their way of seeing things. Their concentration is generally not great with this particular conjunction because the speed of their thoughts is so speedy. Um, unless they're in a fight of words or ideas, they really can have a hard time with general concentration. We can see more issues with like um, attention deficit and uh, concentration difficulties in general. Um, and that could lead also to behavior uh, difficulties or problems in the younger people that have this particular conjunction. All hard aspects, and this is a hard aspect from Mars to Mercury, can do that. Um, they tend to burn the candle at both ends because their minds don't turn off until they exhaust them and and they the mind turns itself off because it it, it's, it lapses into sleep eventually. Most people that have this conjunction or other hard aspects from Mars to Mercury tend to be people that keep odd hours and that will stay up for long periods of time and then sleep for long periods of time as well. Sleep can be a problem for them because turning their minds off can be difficult because the thoughts race, the mind races. And they really have to, they, they really think they must think their thoughts. So this is a hard combination. All hard aspects from Mars to Mercury and Mars to Pluto are harder, make it more difficult to slow the thinking down, put space between the thoughts, and have any kind of real meditative experience. It's really, really, really difficult for them to sit and not think 
because when they attempt to do that, the thoughts come all the faster. There's a certain um, learning to not do in order to do with this particular conjunction. And it's, it's best to learn to let things be as they are, everything be as it is, more of a Buddhist take on meditation when we have this one. Now, mindfulness is probably going to be something that's also going to help. But we have to consider that we're already dealing with the mind. So, you know, most of the time, mantra or, um, a, you know, some kind of, of, of a Buddhist perspective med meditation is probably going to be what is going to be really, really helpful with this particular conjunction because we want to be able to slow the mind down to such a place where we can put some space between the thoughts because in that space arises real possibility and um, real true information. And so this is one where the mind is really, really convinced that it is the master here because it's linked with the ego directly, the identity, that first house energy, Mars. And so it can be really, really difficult to get beyond thought when we have hard aspects from Mercury to Mars, Mercury to Pluto, especially to Mars, because we're so, so, so convinced that our thoughts make us what we are. We are very much defined by our thoughts. We're very much defined by our opinions, defined by our ideas, and giving up that perspective is really, really difficult with this particular conjunction because that, in our opinion, that is us. So if we give that up, what are we? What am I? It, it can create an identity crisis, which is, you know, ideally is what we want to do if we want to see what's really beneath everything. But, you know, in general, you know, most of us are not going to go there. We want to have a happy life where we want to live out our birth charts as they are and have as little friction uh, between us and others and have all the material things that we want and live out our version of romance and, and all that stuff and then die a happy person. There's Most of us are not going to want to come to really, really deal with uh, what we truly are and truly find the truth of things. This is one where if they do choose to do that, if they do choose to accept that they are not their mind and the limitations of their mind and of their ego and identity as well, then it opens up this extremely vast, peaceful experience that is completely beyond any description that the mind has and completely beyond the concept of identity or personal ego. So this is one that will very much keep a person from getting to those really true higher understandings because their mind is so sharp and because they are so viscerally identified with their thoughts and with uh, their thoughts defining what they are as a person, their opinions defining what they are as a person, that we have to do some real serious work around the ego itself before we can really start to tackle that issue of understanding that we are not our thoughts or our opinions, that we are something much, much, much more greater, vast, and full of uh, more peaceful possibilities than can be offered by identifying with the mind or the body, the body-mind. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com. Facebook, uh, Instagram, other social media, Truth and Aspect Astrology. Yes, I do private consultation. I am mainly a relationship and intimacy astrologer, but I um, interpret all types of charts under the sun. And I'll be back super soon. Bye-bye.